Like always, doing some gathering can help you clear this quest successfully. Here's another edited map I made. The most important ones in my opinion would be pickaxes in areas 3, 7, and 9, and bug nets from area 4, a max potion in area 1, pitfall traps in area 4 and 6, a shock trap in area 5, mega potions in areas 6 and 10, and a demon drug in area 3. You can, of course, feel free to gather for anything else you may find helpful, such as the map and paintballs in Area 1, or whetstones, etc. There should be a link in the description to this image, as well as a couple of guides not made by me that go into more depth, if that's helpful. I'd recommend you take out these centaurs. They can be very disruptive. Lamau. Lavasioth can only be fought in one of two areas. I want to fight him here because there's only the two centaurs. The other area has respawning Vespoids. The plan here is to attack his legs and block his problematic attacks as they come up. While you can attack his belly and it will do more damage, it's often not safe enough to do that. You should always be in a position to be able to back hop away from when he flops up. Don't approach too early, as you can be hit by a small attack that will interrupt you. He makes a sound at the end of the flop attack to indicate when it's safe to approach. Depending on the situation, that swim attack is unavoidable. Make sure you're able to block it. I just staggered his left leg. The next stagger should cause him to topple over. Whenever he swims, always be ready for him to make a U-turn, and be ready to block. And, of course, don't neglect the guard poke. It does comparable damage to a regular horizontal poke, and if you're not sure how safe you are, is a good way to keep up damage. The hip check is a reset move. Consider sheathing and repositioning. Another time to reset is when you're very low on stamina. Unless you can regain it safely, consider sheathing for some extra mobility. Manage your stamina properly. You do not need to sprint all the time. Remain calm, stay in control. That staggered his stomach. There's the knockdown. Remember, don't get too greedy. Just focus on hitting the legs. Don't get too close or you may put yourself in a position that you can't get out of.
That was four flop attacks in a row. Well, I'm moving to his left here because if he does a hip check, I may be able to avoid it there. I was able to avoid the bite he did instead as well. Oh boy! Always be ready for the U-turn. The time you're not prepared for it will be the time that it ends your run. I believe when he makes that roar sound that the smaller damage hitbox is gone, similar to how Fatalis works. Hip checked. Reset time. You don't need to keep track of how much damage you're doing, but try and be aware of how much you're hitting each leg. If you feel like one leg is close to toppling, focus on it until he does, then switch legs. Not sure if that was super necessary. In general, I don't really use the charge attack. Three U-turns in a row. Gotta love it. Notice how aggressive I'm being. When you have such a good defensive ability, it actually flips around to being good for offense. You can be where others can't. Take advantage of that.
Notice how I preemptively did a guard poke. If I'm more ready to be hit, I'll get hit less. And there we go. Lance works particularly well against the Vasyoth, since there are a couple of moves that are hard to avoid but easy to block. Make sure you play slow enough to defend while still being aggressive to keep your DPS up. <laughs> 